Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I'd like to uh, use some HTML and CSS to have our text wrap a little bit more closely around a non-square image, kind of like they do in this website here. Now the problem with this particular website is the developer, they just use simple break tags to break right at the um, right at the right edges here so it wouldn't overlap this image. And the only thing I don't like about that is it kind of forces you to use a fixed layout and re removes any kind of flexibility that you might want to use from let's say mobile devices, you know, just different different devices rendering your website. Um, so I found this photo over on Flickr and I've got a credit for it but I did go through and I cleaned out the background just so it was a solid white background. And here's the image just using a standard float right. And it just completely clears clears the image as I would like but I'd like to go a little different where the text seems to more closely hug the outlines of the image and here's kind of the finished product with also a little bit of an insight on how we're gonna accomplish this so this is our starting point here let's see if we can't get this working so I've got my web page set up and so far it's pretty standard stuff. I do have a div with a unique classification. I've got a fig caption in there where I provide credit to where I got the uh, um, the strawberry ice cream cone and I've got my image in, inserted in their normal way with several paragraphs of text and starting off my image is simply floating to the right. My image floats to the right so the text that follows it is simply wrapping around it on the left side but let's change how we're using this image. What I'm going to do is instead of actually inserting the image, in fact, let me go ahead and copy my path here. I'm going to get rid of that image, which means I no longer need to deal with an image that's inside of my product promo. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my product promo and I'm going to insert a background image. There we go. Now by default that's going to go ahead and tile that background image over and over which I don't want to do. So I'll go ahead and do a background repeat. No repeat. And a background position. Ooh, what is background position going to do for me? Well I want to have this background image all the way over to the right and 0% from the top which means it's going to put it in the top right corner. There we go. We'll go ahead and save that and let's see what differences it's made so far. Okay, so I have my image over here but now it's treated as a background image so the text wants to slide all the way over it as it's supposed to do. It's behaving perfectly normal. Alright, so let's head back over to our editor and let's start to do a little bit more with this. Inside of my text or inside of my um, my div, my product promo div, I'm going to go ahead and do something maybe a little bit inefficient. This, this is really where it's going to, where you're going to have to decide, do I really want to go through this? Class equals wrapper block, actually space WB1. Now what I'm doing here, I've got a space inside of my class. I'm actually using, I'm going to be using two classifications. I'm going to be using the wrapper block class and the WB1 class. And I'm just going to use my control D or duplicate in Notepad++ and duplicate this multiple times. And 9, I think I, in my little demo that I did earlier, I did 10. So I'll go ahead and do 10 there. So I've got these. And basically this is going to allow me to format all of my wrapper blocks in one way using the same class that they have in common. And then I can format their widths of them uniquely depending on this other one. So now back on my style sheets, my wrapper block, and this is going to be for all of them. Okay, so to start off while I'm working, I'm going to go ahead and set their border to one pix solid red and I'll go ahead and float all of these to the right because I want the blocks to line up along the right side these little wrapper blocks and I'm also going to clear right because I don't want any one particular wrapper block to wrap around a previous wrapper block and I'll go ahead and set their heights to about 28 pixels and I'll do a little margin left on here too two pixels and just that little change there 
gets me, oops, I need to fix my width. Let me just go ahead and put in a generic width in here just so we can see how this is gonna kind of look. There we go. So now you can kind of see how the text is gonna be affected by these individual bars. Now if I head over and, and I start to create rules, for each of these bars, there we go. We can start to control where our text wraps. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate all these and set the widths. There we go. I just put in all the individual widths and I just did a little bit of trial and error. But now when I refresh this, there we go. Our text wraps cleanly around the ice cream cone. And if I head back and I make this border zero pixels, Instead of one pixel, there we go, the illusion is complete.